do you not think it's quite a damning indictment for the industry if someone, I think you've been in since 2012, 2013, I think I heard on an interview, but someone who's been in, you know, an OG to, to get hacked twice, um, you know, how, how, how can we move forward? How can we actually bring normal people into this industry? Or is it forever going to be sort of, you know, rife with, uh, with people getting scammed and losing their money. It's it, it sort of, I had to, uh, before I asked this question, I was thinking is it, I, th I feel like the best games are the ones where it's like 90% skill, but there's just 10% of luck. And maybe that's the the 10% of luck in, in crypto is uh, you're losing all your money. But yeah, how, how do you see it all playing out? How, how are we actually going to get this to the, you know, the normies? I mean, I think it's part of the game, if I'm being honest with you. And it's really just about being more diligent and more skillful. You know, I wasn't diligent and I wasn't skillful. I didn't have my money on a fucking ledger like I should have. You know, I had it in a hot wallet. Even my first hack where they took 250K from me, I still don't know how it happened. Like, I don't have my seed phrases anywhere on any digital device anywhere. And all of them were, like, securely, like safe in in the current or in the late location that it was you know what i mean mm -hmm. physically written down on pieces of paper um i thought it was like maybe a remote access hack for my computer or something i don't i still don't know but i wasn't taking the necessary security measures and like i think I, I bought bitcoin or my buddy bought bitcoin in 2013 for us but it was just off of silk road shit we weren't actually into crypto mm -hmm. uh, and so this was like like from 2017, when I first started, this was like really the first major come up that I had um, on a financial scale. And so I wasn't diligent enough with it. The second hack was literally just me being a dumbass and using my main hot wallet as I started, I was trying to make a game on Solana. And so I was working with a dev. And as soon as I typed my name in as function, which was stupid, and then I connected my hot wallet, which is double stupid. Um, <laughs> he saw my NFTs. He probably knew that I like, this was back when I was like number 10 on NFT inspect or something. So I was like oh, wow. really popping on Twitter. So if he even had a Twitter profile, he knew that like, yo, I should probably hack this guy. Um, you know? <laughs> and so I think it's just like being diligent. I think it's being more aware. Um, I think there's a rite of passage for everyone. doesn't mean you have to get hacked and lose all your money, but I think there's always a rite of passage, especially in the crypto realm. And I also don't think it's like, like it might be more savage than traditional industries, but other industries aren't like, uh, aren't lacking scams either, man. Mm -hmm. You know, like you can get a call from some, from your bank and and you can tell them your pin code to verify your account and all of a sudden it was a scammer who just who steals your thousands of dollars out of your bank account now banks might have a little bit more security because they can refund you the money um but that's honestly not good for you in the long term in my opinion like in the long term like i'm actually grateful for all the hacks that i had even though it was a lot of money and all of this other stuff but i'm grateful because now i know to be more diligent now i know to be more aware now i know to be more uh, strategic with how I'm like utilizing my funds, what I actually share publicly, you know, because a lot of the times I think I made myself a target, you know, like if I'm on Twitter bragging about how I just swept 55 D gods, you know, and then all of a sudden D gods go to fucking 10 grand each, mm -hmm. then I, I'm a target. I'm a fucking target. People want my shit. And I think it's all part of the game for an individual to learn how to become more financially responsible uh, where they don't have like the traditional banking system or the traditional monetary system always like playing mommy and daddy for them and being like, Oh, you, you got hacked. Oh, it's okay. We'll just <laughs> refund your money. You know? Um, and it's really what I've always said since the, since the beginning I got into crypto and I started to really learn about it is what it's doing is it's taking like humanity from a fiat paradigm, this paradigm yeah. where they think they're always protected, they're always safe in a bank, they're always going to earn X amount of dollars an hour and all of this mm -hmm. stuff. And for the, those that choose to really participate at a high level, like I have, you're going to go through trials and tribulations, but those trials and tribulations are literally meant to like break you out of this fiat paradigm and open you up into the way that money really works. And money is just constantly flowing. It's a river. It doesn't stop moving. It doesn't stop uh, 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 circulating. And if you allow yourself to get stuck or you allow the money circulation to get stuck, then you're going to lose it all or you're going to have things that affect you in order to get you out of that. 
Um, and that's kind of what I've noticed in, in general is, is I think it just teaches people that process at a much higher level than any other industry will. But I also recognize that I'm the one that chose to be here and I'm the one that's choosing to play that game and I wanted to play that game. Um, and if you can take personal responsibility for it, then you can move through all the hard shit pretty quickly.